Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tom.com and today we'll be looking at the new Tahoma Switch. It's not available yet, it will be soon and there's a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So the Tahoma has been around for quite a long time, more than 10 years, but for a lot of people it's still new. And this new Tahoma switch is actually the third generation of Tahomas. And within the 10 years, some people have learned a lot from their experience. And also the market, of course, has changed in terms of technologies. So that's why there is a new version right now. Um, so let's dive in and let's look at the product details. First of all, when you look at the shape and you look at the top of the Tahoma, you see two buttons here and one in the middle. And these two are to start scenarios with which is quite handy because before that function was there in the Tahoma as well, but it was a touch sensitive surface. So it wasn't really that obvious that it was a button. In the new Tahoma, it's a nice combination of design and buttons where you can clearly see what you need to do and let's press them. So when you start a scenario, for example, when you leave the house or when you enter the house, you can just press a button and automatically without needing to open the app, the scenario will play. And that scenario can be assigned by yourself and you can also determine which actions the Tahoma then should start. As you can see, it's also smaller than the previous Tahoma, so it's easy to place it anywhere. The actual size, it's, it's 16 centimeters in length, it's about 7 centimeters in height and 3.5 in depth. Another advantage of the new Tahoma is that you actually can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Before, you need to have an Ethernet cable to connect it to your router switch. So there had to be a wired connection, which sort of limits where you can place the Tahoma. With the new switch, you can basically place it anywhere because you just need to connect it to your Wi-Fi, so it's wireless. There is one wire still, which is this one, because of course, you still need power. This is a USB cable, but you do need this specific one because there's a connector here, as you can see, which is particular to the Tahoma. And that's because you need to be able to click it in. And once it's clicked in, it fits nice and snug with the housing of the Tahoma itself. That's the only cable you need. The rest is wireless. The cable length is 150 centimeters. Uh, and because it's a custom cable, you cannot buy another one if you need more length. But you can buy an extender, a USB extender, to extend the length of the cable in case 150 centimeters is not enough. So that's the outside of the Tahoma. Let's look at what it can control. So it can control 200 I.O. products, and that's a lot. That's a lot more than the previous Tahoma. It can also power or control 50 RTS products. So that's I.O. and RTS, which are something protocols, and you can control a lot of those. You can also control up to 40 sensors. 40 sensors is a lot, but I think there might be some um, alarm system components, sensors, that will be available at some point in the future. But for now, it's pure speculation, but given that you can control 40 sensors, it could be a good option. Now, it's not just some few protocols that can be controlled. Um, you can no longer control Z-Wave through um, the Tahoma, but you can control Zigbee 3.0. So that's the new protocol that the Tahoma can now control as well. And with Zigbee 3.0, there are a lot of devices that the Tahoma can now control from its own app. For example, this IKEA lamp with integrated speakers from Sonos. And of course, we have the regular uh, Sonos products that can be controlled as well, as well as Philips Hue for lighting. If you prefer to use another system, such as Google Home, Alexa, or Apple HomeKit, those are options as well, because the Tahoma is fully compatible. So the way that works is that you will use your regular app or voice control system, and the Tahoma will act as a bridge between those systems and the Sonfi products like the IO motors, etc. Now, a lot of benefits, it's smaller, it has more control options, and it has Zigbee 3.0. Let's look at the price. And that's, a good new, that's good news as well, because before it used to be $299 as the advice price, and now it will be $199, so it's a lot cheaper as well. So that's, you're getting actually getting more in a smaller package, and you're paying less, so that's good news. As far as availability is concerned, um, it will replace the current Tahoma, but we don't know yet exactly when it will happen. So that's, uh, that's pending at the moment. It could be this month, as soon as that, but it could also take a little bit longer, so we have to wait for that. As soon as it is available, I of course will let you know. 
And for future videos, of course, we'll go more in depth about the control system itself. So we'll look at how easy it is to connect devices, how easy it is to set up scenarios, etc. Because that's also supposed to be a big benefit of the new Tahoma. For now, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know at info at And I'll see you in the next one.